In the state of Missouri, we had, for the first time ever, an all-time high of non-credit student enrollment in every one of our community colleges. And only 100,000 adult learners enrolled in credit degree seeking, but we had 125,000 adult learners enrolled in quick job training workforce development programs to study. It told me and a, and a few other leaders around the state is where's the data behind this and what's our return on our investment with those workforce programs which are continuously always underfunded because they're they're not the priority, the traditional priority programs to study. So we needed to create a system where we could collect data um, and performance data on the students and on these programs of study um, with employer input to see are we meeting the students needs, the employers needs, and our community needs. So it was really an alignment of the stars between the Great Recession and the TACT opportunity um, to take the time now to build a data collection system statewide, but also to gain knowledge and start using data to help them make uh, better performed administrative decisions on which programs of study should be sustained. There was no data system on who these people were, what are their demographics, what programs are they taking, which industries are they supporting, um, and then also uh, what were the wages they were earning. So it was really important for us, to, for the first time ever, to build this system and for it not to be forced upon colleges to make this decision, but that it was an opportunity um, and a collaborative effort why we would all want this information and how could we use it. The pilot was just the 13 two-year institutions in the state of Missouri. Now we have four years that want their programs, as well as the for-profit schools, and we're now adding the VOTEC and the AEL schools, the adult, um, education literacy programs. So we're hopefully hopeful that you know everybody that's a, pr a training provider in the state of Missouri will be populating this database so every citizen has an opportunity to see every program um, and if it's the right fit for them. There's this new arising innovation out there about credentials, badges, um, and industry saying, especially in information technology, there's 19 different cert certifications you need to have before you can even apply here at my company. Um, so there's that connection now that we're seeing organically that's happening between the industry sector and those occupations and higher ed making that connection and designing curriculum in a modular base, competency based, that award these credentials. And you need to make sure you have a data system that supports that so you can see which, which programs are performing well and which ones are not. Um, and are they meeting your labor market high demand needs in your community? Are they truly connecting with those employers and getting those jobs and making those wages? So there's a public side and a private side to this new data system. The public side would be for a parent, um, a, a potential student, adult learner that wants to come in and say, well, I think I want to be a registered nurse. Where would I go find that at uh, the training programs? And what do registered nurses pay in my region? So you can go in and search um, by keywords. You can search by college name. You can search by a program of study. So it's going to be very intuitive and, and user friendly for the public to come in and they can play and see for career exploration, you know, what it was and how long will it take to be in that program? Is it a two year seated degree program or is it an 18 week innovative non-credit workforce training program? We will also connect it to the employers that hire those completers. It was a perfect opportunity if there were any burn bridges to mend those bridges with that partner um, and it opened up and conversations started flourishing. I mean, it almost was organic and healthy, and um, now they're talking about sharing data systems. I'm gonna give you access to my system. It's online, you can go in and log in. You'll have read-only, but you don't quit calling me, quit emailing me. So we're seeing how their jobs through technology are changing and are being enhanced, um, and we're serving more students, um, smarter, not harder, um, and at a much more improved rate. So we have College presidents and board of trustees now, where college presidents are demonstrating what this, the potential of this system is. So you, with their board of trustees and with their legislators, they now have a go-to spot that they can see actual return on investment of their time and resources that they're putting into their own local community college.